So a question that cropped up the other day, it was from a diesel engine owner, and they wanted to know which was the correct spec of Volkswagen oil that they should buy for their engine, because there's quite a few different specs to choose from. So this video, we're just going to talk about the different specs and the significant differences between 405, the 40501 and the 407 spec oils. So when people buy oil, they obviously look at the viscosity the numbers here, the 0W30 indicate the viscosity or the stickiness of the oil, how well it flows or not. So the 0W would indicate the winter or the cold temperature viscosity, and the 30 would indicate the high temperature viscosity. So the high temperature viscosity is actually measured at around 100 degrees centigrade, which is still well below the normal operating temperature of an engine. So a lot of people start talking about the high temperature shear point of oil, which is what happens inside the engine at high engine operating temperatures. And the shear point really is the point at which the oil no longer sticks to the metal surface and provides lubrication. It's so hot, it started to shear away and you start getting metal to metal contact, which exacerbates the wear and tear on the engine itself. So with VW oils, it's important to look at the VW reference, which has been specifically formulated for each specific engine. Generally, you can use a higher VW spec, but you also need to bear in mind that some of these oil formulations are for high performance gasoline or petrol engines, and some of them are for diesel engines. So although the 0W30, the SAE number, is not that important, you still have to be very much guided by that. You wouldn't want to put too thin an oil in your engine because that can cause problems with burning oil and the wrong viscosity can affect the oil pressure quite dramatically. So there's quite a lot of factors to consider when buying oil, but generally the diesel spec of oil in the Volkswagen Group you can go to the higher numbers as long as you're still within that viscosity index. The higher numbers are generally better performing. They're more expensive, better grades of oil. And so too with the gasoline or the petrol variants, you can go to the higher spec, the newer specs that the Volkswagen Group have brought out. And in some cases, those older spec oils are quite hard to find. They've effectively been replaced and superseded by these new ones. When you're buying engine oil for your car, there's a whole raft of other things that you should take into account. And Volkswagen have given specific formulations. This is the additive pack that goes into the oil. And they've graded these as 504.00, 507 in this case. So this particular oil conforms to 504.00 and 507 spec. How important is it? What are the differences in the formulations of these oils? And does it matter? What are they looking to protect within the engine just by changing the specification of the oil that is used? So most manufacturers out there have specified a specific formulation of oil for their engine. And it's a lot to do with the components within the oil. So as cars have developed over the years, the components they've used in them have changed. The performance engines have much higher requirements for a very precise type of oil formulation. The addition of DPFs and catalysts are also very susceptible to a lot of things that happen when oil burns, when it's of the incorrect grade. So the VW405 spec oil was a relatively old spec of oil that was introduced before we had catalysts and DPF filters on engines to worry about. So most Volkswagen Group engines would use a 405 spec oil, especially if they were a diesel engine. There's obviously been lots of different specs over the years. I think it started at sort of 400, 401, and it goes up to about 408, 409. So the 405.01 oil was a revision to that earlier spec. It offers better protection for a Volkswagen engine. So particularly an engine with a turbocharger, they're starting to think about these pollution control systems, the catalysts and the DPFs with the revisions that they make to the formulation of the oil. So what is the main difference between these specs of oil? Why does it matter? Why does it affect the catalysts or the DPFs so much? Well, the key thing in the Volkswagen spec oils is the sulfur content. So sulfur is a non-metallic substance. It typically looks like a, a yellowish solid substance in nature. And when you extract oil from the ground, sulfur is present in it. Depending on where you live in the world, where the oil has come from, the quantities of sulfur within that oil do vary quite considerably. So in some regions, it's as low as 1%. So that's 10,000 mg per kilogram. And in some regions, it's 6%, so 60,000 milligrams per kilogram. So it's a wide variation. Now, why would you want sulfur 
in the oil. Well, it's quite hard to extract the sulfur from the oil, but it does offer some benefits. It prevents oxidization, so it, it resists the oxygen entering the oil, affecting the qualities and properties of the oil. And it also makes a sacrificial barrier on the metal components inside the engine. So sulfur has actually been quite beneficial as an additive to have in oil. And even in synthetic oils, they have added sulfur to the formulation just to give it those qualities that they essentially need. But the problem happens in modern engines when the oil burns. All engines will burn a little bit of oil because the pistons are going up and down the piston walls. A lot of the oil oil is scraped back as the piston rises and falls, but there is a small residue of oil left on those piston walls which will burn. So the burning of the sulfur component within the oil creates acids and those acids in the exhaust stream will attack the catalysts, the DPFs and other sensitive areas within the engine. And these acids attack non-ferrous metals. So that's metals that don't contain iron. So copper and aluminium are typically used in components in car engines. And due to the lightness of aluminium, you'll find aluminium is used a lot more extensively in modern engines than it would have been in old older engines. So even the fuels that we buy have restricted sulfur content to protect these modern engine components from damage. So you may live in a region where the specs of fuel is much lower and they're not so worried about the sulfur content, but you may live in a country where they're extremely strict and you buy specific low sulfur formulations of fuel. So what Volkswagen have done with the oil formulations is really amended them to cope with the changing requirements of the engine. So generally speaking, you can view the bigger numbers as superior to those older specifications of oil. So you can use a higher number where your manual is recommending an older number because maybe you've got an older engine. Now, there is a big debate as to whether these newer oils are just as beneficial in older engines as they are in newer engines. So the general rule of thumb is just to look at the manufacturer's recommendations for your engine and stick to it. Don't look at the viscosity numbers on the oil. That is only telling you a very small part of the story, basically how runny it is in different conditions. But these Volkswagen specs, and indeed most manufacturers have got some kind of spec or recommendation when it comes to oil, and they've very carefully formulated the oil to make sure that wear and tear is not happening on various components within the engine. So with performance engines, they've often used maybe different coatings inside the cylinder linings. There's other components within the engine that have been manufactured to very, very precise tolerances. And just having the wrong grade of oil, the acids that are produced when you start burning those wrong components in oil, will eat away at those and degrade the performance of the engine. So oil is very, very important. Always use the recommended spec of oil in your engine. And especially in Volkswagen engines, modern Volkswagen engines, don't get the cheaper old spec of oil or don't pay too much attention to a garage that is telling you that this oil is okay because it's zero W30. The essential thing is the additive pack within the oil. So there are some oils out there that will still conform to the Volkswagen specs, but they've not been tested and approved and don't have the VW reference number on it. So you can use those, but you really do need to know your stuff when it comes to oil. So always buy your oil from a specialist oil retailer that can match the manufacturer's recommendations or maybe even exceed them. So if you've tuned your engine, you've added performance parts, you might have a need for a more complex formulation of oil to protect your engine from the components you've added or just through the fact that it's doing more work because you've increased the performance of it. So I hope this video has just answered the question. So if your manual says 507 spec Volkswagen oil, use it. You can't use those older specs. If it says 504.00, you can in most cases use a 507 quite freely and happily. That spec is just an evolution from the 504.00 spec, but it has mainly to do with the sulfur content within the oils when it comes to the Volkswagen group. But there are some other things going on in there, but I didn't want to make this a 20 minute discussion about the complexities and additive packs that they put in oil. So thanks for watching. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'd love you to stay tuned to the channel and I've lined this video up for you that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.